สวัสดีครับ Good morning and welcome to Morning Focus. This is Boronai r a n i s h i k a And I'm a g l e t Bunyai. Uh, the major story today is that major political parties are unveiling their policies ahead of the upcoming election, and we have the details of the policies of each of the major parties. Right now, we're also looking at insurgent attacks in the three southern provinces. Now they continue to target monks, soldiers, and police. Plus, the government yesterday decided to continue its diesel oil subsidy to cap the price of diesel below 30 baht until the end of April. Those three stories, plus the headlines and the cartoon after the break. Welcome back to Morning Focus. Now, as usual, Kunwar and I we start with the headlines from the Thai newspapers. Now. Uh, Up first, we have Thai Rat newspaper, and their headline is "The bodies of all six Thai victims have now been found." Now, that story concerns that the authorities have now ended their search of a building in Christchurch, New Zealand, with the bodies of six Thai nurses now having been successive, successfully identified. Now, meanwhile, in other stories of Thai people around the world, another 1,000 Thais are still unaccounted for in Libya as the clashes between uh, uh, protesters and Libyan troops intensifies. And we move into daily news newspaper. The headline say t o that's p u r Thai MP j a t u p o n p r o m p a n His nickname is t o t o mocks the prime minister. Now the prime minister is continuously harassed wherever he goes. Also, including this weekend, where he was harassed by female worker activists. Deputy Prime Minister s u t e p t u k s u b a n expressed worries about the prime minister. Kun j a t u p o n p r o m p a n or t o say that the prime minister's sins are now. Catching up with him, and he's getting what he deserved for what he did to the Red Church. Now, j a t u p o n also promised to put the Prime Minister into more misery when he reveals who is behind the burning of Central World Department Store at the opposition censor debate. But he has been promising to do that since the very first censor debate after the crackdown. But Kun j a t u p o n has so far been coming up emptier than even Kun t a r i t Pengdet, chief of the DSI. Right. See, well, maybe how, maybe see how I just added whole thing. Yes. <laughs> I like the way you join the dots there. There you go. Now, uh, uh, over in m a t i t o n newspaper, their story concerns uh, the headline is "Farmers Unhappy and They Protest to Raise the Prices of Paddy Rice." Now, the government has agreed to raise paddy rice prices to uh, 11,000 baht per ton to ease pressure on farmers who were protesting and blocked roads in Pitsanulog and Ayutthaya. However, the new guaranteed price is still far from the farmers' demand, which was 14,000 baht per ton. So they've said that they will continue to protest and, in fact. Expand on that. Now the main story for the day: the prime minister over the weekend said that house dissolution could come at the end of this month or early next month. That means there will be a 60 days grace period afterwards, and election could come in June of this year. So k o m c h a t l e k newspaper did a cover. About the policies of the four major political parties, which we will detail for you a little bit today. Kun a k e t let's start with Democrats, the people who run the station. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with them. Their, their, their policies are There amazing. Uh, amazing. There you go. Now uh, they've said that they will focus on education. And people's incomes. Now, g o b s a k s a p a v a s u the head of the election campaign team for the Democrat Party, has said that his party has already launched two PR campaigns for this election. Now, the first one says that the party will help the country to improve by emphasizing on the education of the general public. Now, the second says that the Democrats have told voters that they will focus on increasing the public's incomes as well as benefit from economic growth through its people's agenda policies. Now, in regard to tax reform plans, the Democrats want to overhaul the entire tax system and focus on other problems such as traffic. They would also build new ports in Rayong and Chonburi and build a high-speed train to link Bangkok and deep sea ports in Pattaya. The Democrats, the Democrats, would also like to build more transportation means and infrastructure and initiate more policies on keeping the beaches around the country clean as part of the plan to boost tourism. The Democrat Party would also go ahead with the construction of a high-speed train in the northeast, which would later be expanded to the south. Right, so next party. Lots of building. Lots of building. Uh, right now, the next party is Chat Thai Patana, and they will focus on political reform and bringing about national reconciliation. Now, their party leader Kun Chumpon s i l a p a a c h a has said that the party would focus on agriculture, education, tourism, and finally public health. However, the party's main selling point would be uh, political reform through charter amendments. Now, that's to enhance democracy and also to tackle social injustice as well as bring about national reconciliation. 
reconciliation. Now, Kun Chumpon has said that Thai society now needs to find a way to reunite the conflicting political and social fraction, factions. Now, the party will focus on trying to win House seats from its current political base in the central and northeast regions and hope to win around the same number of House seats that it had won in the past. Now, that number was around 40 to 50 MPs mm. in the House. Now, moving on to Phum Chai Thai Party, the main coalition partner. Then the Phum Chai Thai Party aims to woo the grassroots. Deputy leader of the Phum Chai Thai Party, Khun Bun Chong Wong Twai Lat State, the party is now preparing its candidates to be able to reach out and literally touch the voters. As part of Phum Chai Thai's campaign strategy, its candidates must work hard by visiting voters to create bonds with them and find out their problems. The candidates must also be service-minded and be ready to serve the public. The candidates running under the banner of Phum Chai Thai must be local residents of their respective provinces because the closeness and the attachment is very important and Pum Chai Thai care very much about the people in the area. As they should. As they should. All As all the other care, parties. Right? They, they care very much. Of course they do. I am touch. Single teardrop. <laughs> I can see you it. Can't <laughs> Now, uh, Bum Chai Thai's main selling point is that it plans to take care of people's careers and help to cut the cost of living and also boost their chances of working in productive careers. Now, Kun Bun Jong said that the party would focus again on the northeast, as the party was mainly formed by MPs from the Isan region. Now, they also hope to expand and become the third largest party in Thailand, I'm sure lots of people hope to expand and become the largest party they, in Thailand. They, they likely would come. If you look into Pum Chai Thai uh, website, and there's a page where they list the names and pictures of MPs who are not Pum Chai Thai MPs, but MPs of other parties, but they are under the headlines of MPs who share our ideologies. So right. perhaps this MP will move eventually to Pum Chai Thai party. Do those MPs know that their pictures are in the website? They know. Oh. They should know. They ought to know. They have to know. How can they not know? <laughs> if they don't know, we have to notify the webmaster or something. Well, anyway, moving on to Pur Thai Party. Now, Pur Thai Party will continue the policies of Thai Rak Thai and People's Power Parties. Kun Kanawat Watsin Sangwon, deputy leader of Pur Thai Party, said his party would focus on social, economic and political issues of its two previous incarnations, which had been welcomed by the public in the past. He said the party's main goal was to increase the, the quality of life for the laborers and farmers and reduce the income gap between the rich and the poor. Its economic policies would focus on efforts to reduce cost of living while boosting their income and reduce unemployment rate. Right, now the, the party also plans to propose a reform of the economic system and that is to increase competitiveness and to create uh, a substantial economic base in the long run. Now, moving on to their social policies, the party will plan to revive its universal health care program and also launch a war on drugs, we've heard that word before, which they say was successful under the first Thaksin administration. It was very successful. Was. 2,500 civilians gunned down without trial, without court. I mean, Success is... That is a lot of body count. Subjective. I know. Last year, May and April have nothing on that. That was 91 bodies. Right, 2,500. Yeah. But highly these, successful. All these, all these policies, I mean, can you see the difference in them? I can't really see the difference in them, but we'll see what will happen. We shall. We shall see what <laughs> will happen. Shall. Now, moving on to other matters, southern violence continues. Violence in three southern provinces continues to intensify despite government's claims that the situation is getting better. In Naratiwa, yesterday, a police officer and a civilian have been injured in two related bomb incidents. The first explosion occurred at about 11.30 a.m. in the ground space under the five-story flat building accommodating officers of the Sisakon District Police Station. A man walking near the flat was injured by the explosion. Right, now the blast, uh, the blast set off a blaze that ripped through the ground area and then went up to the second story of the building. Now, it took about 10 minutes for firefighters to bring this blaze under control. In total, 14 cars parked in the space under the building were damaged by the explosion of the bomb that was planted in a pickup truck in the area. Now, bomb experts uh, investigating the case have said that the explosion was most likely caused by a homemade bomb which weighed around 50 kilograms and was made from a cooking gas cylinder and uh, probably detonated remotely by a mobile phone. Witnesses said a man drove a pickup truck and parked it in the ground space of the building before rushing off on a waiting motorcycle driven by another man. Police stopped the two at about 100 meters away from the flat, but they managed to escape after hurling a grenade at a house belonging to another police officer and injured him. 
Right, now about 30 seconds later, another group of suspects, believed to be hiding nearby, used another mobile phone to detonate a bomb. Now the police are currently checking the footage from a nearby security surveillance camera for clues in this case. Meanwhile, in Batani, a former border ranger was killed in a drive-by shooting by suspected militants, and that also happened yesterday. Mm, and remember, as we said yesterday, monks, police, teachers are the main targets of insurgents. Now, moving on from violence in the south to diesel, the government has decided to extend diesel oil subsidy to keep the price below 30 baht per liter until the end of April. Following his meeting, sorry, following his meeting with Prime Minister of Pisitwe Shashiwa and Energy Minister Wanarat. Chanukun. Finance Minister Gon Chanukawanit yesterday said the oil fund still has 35 billion baht in hand and subsidizing the diesel price until the end of April should not cause any problem for the fund. The government would then review other ways to curb soaring diesel price in May as suggested by the Prime Minister. Right, now the Finance Minister has conceded that domestic fuel prices must follow global oil prices which are being affected by the political crisis in the Middle East and North Africa. However, the current fuel pricing measures will have to be revised if the turmoil in the Arab world causes a further spike in global oil prices. He also said that there are other options to support diesel prices such as reducing the excise tax. But this must uh, be careful because cutting the excise tax by just one baht per litre could affect the government's revenue by up to 19 billion baht per year. And the subsidy for diesel at five, part, five baht per litre and the price at major petrol stations stands at 29.99 baht per litre, while the price for gasohol uh, 95 are about 37 baht per litre and gasohol 91 at over 34 baht per litre. Mm. Academics and experts, of course, oppose the plan to extend the diesel oil subsidy. Suwapon Sirikun, chief executive director of the Energy for Environmental Foundation, yesterday said the government's persistent attempts to keep the diesel price at 30 baht per liter are disappointing. Instead of continuing to cap the price, the government should look at other options such as better management and better strategies, especially if the upheavals in North Africa and the Middle East carry on for another few months. Kun Suwapon questioned whether the government is only concerned with keeping the people happy by keeping the price down for the sake of gaining the votes ahead of the general election. Right now, also an unnamed official from the Energy Fund Administration Institute uh, insisted that the fund has only got 21 billion baht in net cash left, with just 7 billion baht remaining, and that if that's after they deduct the 14 billion baht subsidy they would need to cap NGV gas prices. Now, many believe that the government will eventually have to borrow money if they continue to subsidize diesel fuel, something that I'm sure nobody wants to see happen. Indeed. Now, moving on to the last thing today, the cartoon. This one is from Daily News newspaper. Kun Akit, would you like to start? I'd love to start the uh, cartoons. Now, we have two men, uh, as you can see in the picture that's going to come up in a moment. There's two men, and they're visiting a supermarket to buy palm oil. However, it's still unavailable on the shelf. So the first man, you can be the first man. The first, the first man questioned his friend. He said, how come the palm oil are still missing from the shelves? The government claimed that it's now available everywhere. Right, now his friend replies to this, that palm oil might be missing from store shelves, but this is just a small matter because weapons that are stored in military bases can disappear even more easily. Things just keep disappearing in Thailand. I don't they know do. what happened. Weapons, palm oil, M16's bullets. <laughs> they disappear and Evidence. become AK-47 bullets. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Well, that's all for us this morning. Thank you for joining us once again. Morning Focus at postnews.co.th. Any questions, comments, response, please contact us.